Hey YouTube, Tony from Anaxis here and today we are going to look at local playback and exporting a video directly on the Legend NVR. Let's go get it. All right, here we're going to get into it now. So uh, our setup here is one camera connected into a eight channel Legend NVR. Uh, I've already gone ahead and put a USB stick uh, in one of the available USB ports on the back of the unit and we're going to use that if we'd like to export video and actually take it off the NVR and bring it back for playback somewhere else. So um, firstly we got to get into playback mode. So there's a couple ways we can do that. One is uh, if we want to do an individual camera, um, you'll once you click that uh, video tile you'll get some options showing up here. So we can do an instant playback uh, this is just a, a very sort of quick and handy tool to see what's happened in the last couple of minutes. Uh, so if you, if you click that, it's going to immediately just start playing back. And there we are, just mumbling about before uh, we started shooting this. And I can scrub back and forth, etc. Um, but we can't really export video from here, so I just want to show you that you can do a quick uh, playback uh, as well. So. Then um, the next thing is we go down here and as you hover your mouse down to the bottom, a menu will appear where you can go into home, which gets you into settings and things like that. Uh, but then here you'll see the playback button. So once I click the playback button, uh, it's now going to bring me to today's date and basically give me a 24 hour time span of today. And because I've only got one con camera connected, uh, you'll see here that it happens to be camera number two. Uh, I can see starting at uh, kind of uh, uh, midnight uh, this morning uh, or 12 a.m. this morning and then going through till uh, this time uh, we have uh, a bunch of color-coded video here. So blue being motion detected video and then there must be some analytics set up here on here, analytic events which are highlighted in red. A uh, couple things I can do from here is I, if I click on this timeline I can now start using the scroll wheel on my mouse and kind of dig deeper into these events so you get a more uh, granular view of what's actually happening at specific uh, you know, times throughout the day. So now uh, I can, uh, you can see this, this video is actually playing at standard time here. I can you know, fast forward through the video so there's a little speed up uh, button and now I've gone to two times speed, four times, eight times, 16 times, etc. Uh, so this is sometime in the middle of the night that this, this camera was recording. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you here, um, before I just showed you, once I went into playback, it's immediately giving me today's date and a full 24-hour spectrum of recording, and then I just went in and clipped that video. But you can also dig deeper into the video um, by picking any sort of date in the calendar here, and then if you click this video retrieval button, uh, it'll let you pick different cameras, um, and then specify, you know, uh, specific dates and times, right? So you can go and modify that search from last week or whenever you want, and then uh, click the search button and uh, no results found in this case, but um, that is basically how you would perform that function. All right, so now I'm gonna show you actually uh, clipping this uh, part of the video that I'm actually interested in, okay? so. Uh, let's see, right here I've got my starting point. I'm just going to uh, keep that pause there. And then down here you see this little pair of scissors. Okay, so when I hover over there it says start clipping. So I select that and now what it's done is it's put these little sort of bookends. Uh, one is way down here and one is up here. Now all you have to do is simply drag that uh, one bookend over to where you want that video to start. Okay. So I'll just leave it uh, just before this point here. And then I'm going to take this ending bookmark and bring it in closer to, you know, the end of uh, the event that I'd like to capture, okay? So then I go back to the scissors, which you can see that's kind of changed the icon here. And then I click stop clipping. Once I do that, you'll see video clip saved successfully. Okay, so now we've successfully uh, saved a video clip and then you can see um, this little kind of file folder looking icon here, it says new. So when I click that, uh, there are now uh, a couple of video clips here. There's the most recent one that I just saved 
and I can select that and you get a little preview of it here. Um, so now what we've done is we've saved the, the video clip locally on the Legend NVR. If we would like to export that video and take it off the system and bring it to another computer to play back or give it to law enforcement or whoever needs to see it, um, ideally I want to put a USB stick in there or some other storage device that connects USB to the Legend NVR and now I can back up that video to that uh, device. Okay, so I'm not ra now ready to start backing up this video to take it off the system and put it on a, uh, a USB thumb drive. So if I click the select the file, click the backup button, uh, it's going to come up with um, a location here, and this is actually the USB thumb drive that I've inserted into the unit. So we're good to go there, and sometimes if it's a brand new um, USB th thumb drive, you might need to, the system may need to tell you to format it, so you'll have a format option there as well. So we don't need to do that step in this case. I'm just gonna click the backup button, and it's now going to export that video clip to the USB drive. Thank you folks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We're posting lots of great content, content on here all the time. Inaxis is your full manufacturer of security products, access control, video, power supplies, PoE switches, custom built servers, we got it, okay? So please reach out to your local sales rep. We're happy to help you give demos, help you put together a project no problem. Give us a shout. We're here to help. Thank you.